You've no doubt seen this incredible model by 3D Print Bunny. This outer part in blue is Hi5 Blue PLA, of course, printed on the Vision Miner 22 IDEX. Fantastic machine. And the yellow Starburst Sunbursts are printed on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. And let's see if I can get this out of here. It's mesmerizing. This small little desk toy. You use this little bar to lift these up and then get out of the way. And it produces a wave pattern. This is fun. So I've, <laughs> I've had this printed for a little while and I've caught myself playing with this thing over and over and over. And it's just joyous to be able to watch this cascading wave effect because of the different lengths and the different energy they have in the swing. I absolutely, absolutely love it. And what's great is I've printed it in a way that you've never seen before. What? And I'm excited to show you. So these are the, the sunbursts, I believe is what they're called. This is the bar that you push on and then you store it right there when it's not in use, if you can actually get it in there. Oh, I love it, I love it. I absolutely love this. One of the things that I did when I printed the Hi-Fi Blue stuff is I did a slicer trick. So in Prusa Slicer, I used their cutting tool and put a dovetail cut in this platform because you would normally have to print it upright like this. But if I can take this apart carefully and not lose any of that and take the bar out, you can see just like that. So normally it prints like this and this is together, but it does need to utilize support material to print this part and the layers go like that. And I thought, what would be a better way to print this? And so what I did is I used that Prusa slicer tool and I, and I cut, it automatically put that dovetail cut in and then I'm able to print them like this. So the loops go like that, making these nice and strong. And then this part just fits together. It's really cool. Now, 3D Print Bunny doesn't release the model in a way to allow modifications or upgrades, but I wanted to tell you about this, not because I'm releasing it, but because I thought it was a really cool way using a slicer trick within Prusa Slicer to print this in an orientation in and in a way that would make it a lot easier on the machine and use less material. And I mean, and if you wanted to, for some reason, you could always use some 3D gloop to put it all together, but I don't see a need. But that slicer trick within Prusa Slicer really saved time and materials and it still functions incredibly well. It's really cool. Let's just, let's just set this aside for now because I've printed the other ones as well. Now, I couldn't go by without printing these. Now, the outer part in black is printed in carbon fiber nylon on the Pantheon Design HS3. And the middle part is blue PLA on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. Let's get the bar out. This one, this one is fascinating. Absolutely fascinating because, oh, look at that. Look at that wave motion. It's so cool. It plays tricks on the eyes even. Here, and then you can actually turn it this way and then I can give you a different look at it. Look at that. I do like that I was able to print this in a CF nylon. I think you need something sturdy in order to withstand the forces of this. If we were to go heavier, wink, wink. But in this configuration with the PLA pendulums, it works just fine. One of the things though, I did want to show you because I was just doing this. Here are the carbon fiber nylon pieces that existed after I printed them. And you can tell there are problems. It wasn't dry. Carbon fiber nylon is one of those materials that's hygroscopic and will absorb moisture out of the air, which means the print quality suffers when you print with it. So the difference between here and here is I utilized this machine. It's called the DryWise and it's from Thought3D. They sent it over to me a while ago because they just wanted to get my opinions on it. And I finally got it out of the box and used it on this. And I put the filament in that looked like this. It just feeds it through and it dries it in line and it looks like that. I feel so much better. Really cool, really happy. I was able to get it out of the box finally and utilize it on a project and it seems to work. It's really, really expensive. So I would expect it to work 
and it does so far. But yeah, these, these look gross. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Hold on a second. This is 3D Printing Nerd Studios, of course, proudly powered by PCBWay. Yes, for this project, we reached out to PCBWay because we wanted to be able to print 3D Print Bunny's little project here in a way that you've never seen before. So to start it off with, I've got this one right there. These are just little circles at the end, but the outer part was printed all at once using an industrial nylon process. PCB Way printed this out in their industrial nylon process and sent it over. And I was like, oh, this is cool. So I got the little pink circle pendulums in and, oh, look at that. Oh, that looks good. That looks really, really good. I'm really happy that the nylon worked out. It is nylon without any CF in it. So it's gonna have a little bit of give to it. And it's what nylon does. But because the PLA doesn't weigh that much, it seems to work, which means if I move fast enough, <laughs> oh, there it is. I did promise you something though. I did say I've printed it in a way that you've never seen before. Oh, have I got something for you? Check this out. <laughs> this is stainless steel. So the outer black part is carbon fiber nylon printed on my HS3. And the bar that everything attaches to at the top is aluminum. And the spacers, the little black spacers are PLA because the PLA plastic is a rigid plastic and it provides very little friction for these to, to go back and forth. But nylon uh, pusher. So these are extra extraordinarily heavy. Watch this. <laughs> They're so heavy that the swinging motion makes this move. So I have to hold on to it. But when I do. <laughs> but look at that. I'm looking at that in the playback monitor and that metallic silver wave just going across is just amazing. This is awesome. I, I'm so happy that I was able to show you this because the models that 3D Print Bunny makes are just extraordinary. They're full of joy and wonder and imagination and just, it boggles the brain and massages the folds in the best way possible. And now I've been able to do it in stainless steel. The best part, the best part about this is the feel in person, the, the weight, and just feeling how heavy this is. And you're gonna get to touch this yourself. You're gonna get to see this and feel this and, and, and experience the metallicness of it in person because we're bringing this to 3D Printopia. Yeah, this is gonna live at 3D Print Bunny's booth at 3D Printopia, formerly known as Earth, of course and her booth is gonna have this, and you can come by her booth and give ugh, the metal a shot. That's so cool. Prints like these just make me so happy. They make me so incredibly happy because it's accessible by people who don't necessarily know 3D printing or who don't have a machine or haven't seen it before. When you, when you take something like these that, that are 3D printed and you put them in front of somebody and you showcase the majestic motion of it, they become transfixed and their imagination kicks off and it's a joy to see and they wanna see it again and they wanna try it themselves. And that's, that's the kind of models that I love to print. Something that's gonna bring joy to people and make them interested in this wonderful world of 3D printing that I adore. Let's see if we can get them all going. 
The metal one, I'm probably gonna put at the end. The swing isn't, uh, doesn't last as long. Okay. Ah! Let's try this again. I gotta hold it. I gotta hold it. Shoot. Yes. Oh, this is amazing. Well, obviously, we'll have a link to this model down in the description. I'd love for you to print it yourselves. And then when you do, if you post it online, please tag me. I'm at Joel Telling in places. I'd love to see your interpretation of this and what goes through your mind when you're, when you're actually making it go. And don't forget, this is gonna make an appearance at 3D Printopia and it will live at 3D Print Bunny's booth where you can actually touch it yourself. Let's go! <laughs> Lots to unpack here, but we sure had a lot of fun. And if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for cause you believe in. 3D Print all the inspirational things. And as always, High five.